Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Oh, without further ado, let's go. All right. So, where is the best place for that? Probably right there. Nobody needs to see that. All right. Uh, yeah. So, today we're going to go over the key traders of the week as normal. We're going to go over market sentiment as normal. We're going to go over um, the, the, the topics and, and fallacies that kind of strike us, just plague us as traders from week to week. Um, escape from AF. Oh, is that after hours? <laughs> we're gonna um, we're gonna go over some strategy things as far as risk to reward and stopping out that I really think should be gone. That um, that I really want to go over, and then we're gonna end the session with Q and A like we always do. So if this is your first webinar, please feel free. You guys can like, you guys can have fun in the chat. I don't really care. Like I'm gonna be going over the I'm gonna be going over this kind of in a almost lectury kind of format um if you guys have questions about what i'm talking about just throw the question in there um and i'll you know if it's pertinent to what i'm saying i'll try to get to it i might miss it and if and if so i'll get back to it at the end whenever when it's q a time what's up sam you know i haven't been able to see your videos uh i need to i need to watch them but because i'm, I'm te you know like it like slack won't let me for some reason so i gotta be able to see them you gotta let me see him. All right. So, uh, uh, traders, trades I took this week, and one of them was BIMI, and this was uh, this is what I call an insta. Okay, thanks. This is what I call an insta reclaim trade, right? So, uh, I'm I'm pretty famous here in MIC for this pattern because I'm one of the uh, besides. See, like out of like, there's not very many longers here in MIC, but out of like between Harry and I, Harry's a really good continuation trader and I'm a really good not continuation trader. <laughs> I'm a really good, uh, more of a bottom finder kind of longer, whereas Harry's like the best, one of the best continuation traders I've seen. Like, I mean, he, like he nails the first bounce. Like he, I'll be selling and he'll still, and he'll be adding or like I'll be selling into some and like he'll like hold something like this huge move that I won't get. But anyway, I'm more of a bottom, a bottom scraper kind of longer. Um, but important stuff, important stuff. NNDM. I got a quick stuff sort out of the open on this. Uh, I actually got a little fearful. You too. I, I picked a pretty high cover here, and that's because that's because it really snapped back. Right? Uh, you can't see on this candle, but it really snapped back, and I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Like I got, I like I got half of the fill down here. I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Like I got to cover the rest up here for for near break even. Right, like I mean, my average is like 64 or something like that. Um, so I covered half down here and half a break even. So quick scalp, right? It's it's very choppy. Um, I'm waiting for the range to break on stops, basically. Like this is what I'm kind of waiting for. I am waiting for um, like I'm waiting for the range to break to the top side and and the range to break on the front side, right? Before I decide to pick a direction on this kind of stock, like because this is the kind of chart, unlike Unlike BIMI, this is the kind of pre shit. This is the kind of pre-market chart where it actually looks like longs are in, right? So on breakdowns like this, I'm much more willing to go short, right? Because if we break down, now I feel like longs can be trapped because like this is an uptrending pre-market chart, right? See the difference? Like who 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 wants to long this one? But probably a lot of people are longing this one for the rip up. So when we stuff here in the morning. Like all these guys are now underwater and that's why I'm willing to kind of take this immediate, like I Tosh and I have talked about this a lot. This is kind of like, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's, it used to be, it, it, it's still one of my favorite trades and it used to be Tosh's favorite trade. I don't know if Tosh's favorite trade has changed, but this is still a classic trade where 
the, the stuff happens, you short the immediate bounce, and there's normally that one extra pull, right? There's OPGM. So this one was a fun one, and I drastically uh, undercovered this one. I drastically undercovered this one, but I was still okay with it because of how illiquid it was. But, you know, like I, I was just happy to kind of, you know, get out with, with the liquidity that it had. Um, and I got my, my, my routine targets, right? Anyone, any, anybody who's seen my trading knows I love to get out like on washes, on whole numbers and red to green. Like I love getting out of these levels. So it's just so hard for me not to cover. Uh, this one I actually thought had more potential just because like there's only one reason that there was up in the chat room and it got up a lot on this one chat room. So this was essentially a chat room pump play. It was a no volume pump. And so this is sometimes when good opportunity happens, but they can be very scary trades because they're illiquid, right? These can be very, very scary trades. So it's almost like it's not for the new trader, but like, I mean, the probability is pretty good, but you gotta be, you know, you got like, you almost have to just be experienced with it, but it was a no volume pump and, and illiquidity made it possible for the extension to happen, right? Put it this way, liquidity just means a whole bunch of people, um, you know, it's a liquid market. There's a whole lot of market participants. People are paying attention very closely to the stock. There's orders everywhere. Everyone's trying to figure out what the right price of the stock is, right? So, um, uh, kind of what I predicted last week was that we experienced a little slowdown and it didn't take a genius to figure that out. Like the fact that the market was so ridiculous last week, it, it was almost like how much more ridiculous could it get? Right? Like we had like 700% couple 700 percent runners like two or three 300 percent runners a, a handful of 100 percent runners every single day right so i don't know how much more uh crazy it can get so i mean it like i said like i said it should have slowed down but you know and it kind of did and we actually got the offering too we got bngo offering right we got that bngo offering which i was like that was a positive last week no offerings but i bet you know one offering comes and starts to slow it down. That was BNGO. Typically always works out that way. But anyway, we did have um, a flurry of market participants still busy. This is what I would say a normal small cap market kind of looks like for those, like for anyone who started trading this year, um, the beginning of the month was normal. The beginning of the year was kind of normal. And we had, we kind of had, I think an extra slow summer and fall. Like, uh, like it, it doesn't even have to be a high probability for an enter. Sometimes I'll take it just because it's a good risk reward trade, right? But the thing is, what this requires is knowledge and intuition of market cycles. You need to know what market cycle you're in, right? Um, you need to be aware of, you know, you got to be like, ideally have a few years of looking at price action under your belt so you can really kind of, you know, just have that intuition ingrained in you that like, hey, like, this has the, you know, so you really have a good idea of what potential something has versus, you know, I'm not really sure how high this can go or how low this can go. You know, you kind of have to have a really good sense of uh, how high something or how low something can go to, so for you to accurately gauge a good risk, you know, if you actually have a good risk to reward. And, you know, I wish I could help you out with this, but like, I think the only thing that, that, that really, you know, gives this to a trader is years in the seat screen time. I think that's the only, and I say years because it's not like we can just watch price action 24 hours a day, right? Like we only have six hours a day to watch price action. So, you know, it's like you need a certain amount of hours and you need like that 10,000 hours. That's like three years. Like, you know, you just need those years that you need that time to gain that intuition. And so this is why I have this as an advanced tab, right? And also, it, the damage to a psych, to the psyche is less with experienced traders than with new traders because experienced traders typically have, I'm losing my voice a little bit, experienced traders typically have a very hard, um, uh, like a harder base confidence than new traders because, you know, they've proven profitability. They've, they've showed that they can survive. They've showed that they can pull themselves out of bad times. So this is why I call it an advanced trade. It's not something that new traders should really be looking for. But it, you know, it, it, you know, if you're wondering why I take some trades like that, well, that's why, you know, like sometimes it's risk rewards really, really good. And 
even if it, if the risk to reward is like you know like i said a risk to reward can be four to one and it can be a 30 percent win rate that's still an edge trade right that's still edge even if it wins three out of 30 percent of the time 40 percent of the time these are all edge trades there's edge in taking this trade over time you're going to make money taking these kinds of trades over time this doesn't this doesn't incorporate fees this is very simple but you get the idea like it doesn't have to be that 70 percent and so sometimes you know i'll take 50 percent win rate trades if the risk rewards really good anyway that that's trading oh, are we here already okay there's two more okay so why is your stop always wrong god eight o'clock already uh, why is your stop always wrong right uh, it's not always but i'm just assuming like anyone who's in a bad place really needs to hear that right so let's start with what's a correct stop so a correct stop to me is when my price when my target price exit breaks two rules it's reasonably you know it's you know the the rule that my target price exit my exit price is no longer reasonably uh feasible and it's more likely than not that it won't reach my level all right so it has to break these two rules that it's more likely than not to happen that's to break that rule and it has to break the reasonably feasible chance to get to my target that rule has to be broken so if it breaks those two rules you know that to me is a correct stop Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.